Hello everybody, welcome to this journal with me video. I can't believe it's been two weeks since my last video. I don't know what's happening. Time is just whoosh going past at the moment. But I'm here now and I'm going to do a few pages in my junk journal and then one page in my onion skin journal. I just started off pulling out some bits there that I have a little box on my desk where I put things that I want to journal about soon so I don't lose them amongst all of my stash. Like I put them aside so I know I want to use them. So that was included two beautiful feathers that I found in the garden and wanted to include in my journal. These first couple of pages are super simple collage ones with a tiny bit of journaling. The other thing I wanted to showcase on these pages is I have been recently experimenting. Oh, I feel like I finished doing the experimenting now, but I've been making my own handmade recycled paper and I just love doing it. I'm fully addicted. I love it so much. I will have handmade paper in the in my Etsy shop soon. Um, I haven't done the listing or the photos as of recording this voiceover, but it will be up soon. But um, from the first couple of batches, I had a lot of little scraps where it hadn't gone quite as well as it could have. So obviously I wanted to keep those and use them in my journal. So I have lots of little scrappy bits, but I also have lots of nice full size bits to go in the shop. I was also playing with a couple of new bits that I bought myself. Hey Little Magpie had a sale and I just picked up a few bits and pieces, mostly Maggie Holmes bits from the Garden Party collection, I think it was. These really cute little stencils that I wanted to use and I'm using blending brushes to blend on the flower and leaf shapes. The colours I use there are Distress Oxides in Saltwater Taffy and Bundled Sage. And then I'm sorry about the lighting, I'm still getting used to the fact that there is a skylight right above my desk and sometimes the sun just beams in and it completely throws off my studio lights and I'm still tr trying to figure out what to do about that so yeah it the lighting goes a bit strange in places but Velux window blinds are extremely expensive so I won't be buying one anytime soon anyway I added that little card that said April that is a little card I keep in my planner I have one for each month and then when it's done being in my planner it goes in my journal and then I have that beautiful pure white feather which I found in the garden um, we live right next to a church I've mentioned this quite a few times before but there are doves that nest in the, that church um, I haven't seen doves in years like not like wild doves they're not kept by anyone they just live in the church but yeah, I found it and it was so pretty. I wanted to include it in my journal. I stuck both, I put stuck the card on with some very strong red line tape and then I used glue dots to stick the feather on and then added that little clover sticker because I thought it looked cute. Now I want that other feather you can see, I was gonna stick it on the opposite page, but nah, I just changed my mind on that. So all I've done on the other side is a really simple collage of various scraps of paper, including more scraps of my handmade paper because I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit obsessed with it, I won't lie to you. I also used a stamp. I bought the stamp set from that same Maggie Holmes collection. I'm using the bundled sage and a blending brush to add like a little hint of green all over it. Here's the sun being a bit weird on my lighting. Adding a teensy bit of journaling, just about that feather, and a little pink sticker, flower sticker, and I think, oh no, I'm going to add a lot of splatters to this page. I wasn't really happy with it and it needed something, so adding Distress Oxide Splatters in Antique Linen, and I really like the way the splatters, or the oxide in particular, works on that um, really sort of thin mulberry type paper. It works really, really nicely. So it's on these next pages that I'm going to bring in that other feather that I found. I found it in our driveway, actually. I thought the brown of the feather would go really nice against the pink and there's an already brown there in that little pocket that's already sewn into the journal. I'm not 100% sure what the feather is, it's out of shot at the moment but you'll see it again soon. I think it's a pheasant but I'm not 100% sure because there are an awful lot of birds of prey that live around this area. You see them often like up high doing that like hovering in the air thing they do before they swoop down. It's very very enjoyable to watch but anyway I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's pheasant. If there's an expert out there you can tell me what kind of feather it is. Going through, what am I doing here? I'll just go. I've got these drawers on my desk full of all the wonderful collage fodder, so I just went through and chose a few bits out of there. The bit that I ripped, I think that's wallpaper. I'm not completely sure. Somebody sent it to me, I think, a long, long time ago. Uh, it's beautifully textured, lovely, creamy color. I think it must be wallpaper. I can't think what else it could possibly be, but and oh, that's uh, some packaging there where I like ripped the branding and information off the top and then you've got like that nice pressed flower image there and again with the handmade paper it's gonna I think it's in every single spread in this video so yeah 
I'm excited about it and I like it so I'm gonna keep using it because it's so pretty anyway I'm also doing a spread here about another new thing in my shop well this is actually in the shop already which is my wildflower sticker collection well it's stickers and sticker flakes and ephemera and journal cards and postcards but we'll just call it sticker collection because that's easier and I always try and do a page in or two in my journal every time I have a new load of stickers come out just so I'm you know using my own products and stuff and write about the making of it how it came together and things I wanted to add one of the postcards because I'm really proud of those they took a lot of time to work out the double sidedness of them and you might notice on that one I'm using there um, some of the text is cut off hence why that's one for me to use and not one to sell in the shop because it's a little bit printed off but I went around the edges uh, really distressed the edges and I've just stuck it on the back of that pocket so you mostly just see the whole postcard I think I add a little bit of decoration to it but it didn't need much and then I also wanted to add inside the pocket, I had these postcards made, well I designed them and then had them printed, these are like freebie postcards that go out with every single order. So I have a space to hand letter the customer's name and then it has like my shop info on the back and stuff. And I was really proud of them and the way they turned out, so I had to include one with my name on it in my journal. And then that tag, I actually, I created that tag, I threw it together just for taking like the stock photos for my Etsy shop of the wildflower stickers and stuff because it's nice to show people like how you can use it rather than just the sticker sheet sort of thing so I'm trying to make things out of the collection to showcase it so I had that tag made and I journaled the back of it and then I've tipped it in as you can see and then just under where the tag was tipped in was sort of an awkward blank space so just a little bit of washi and a little ripped off bit from a collage sheet I made a long time ago and then some more very basic collage on the postcard itself. I just wanted to add a little something. So another scrap of the handmade paper, another piece of the collage sheet, and another one of the wildflower stickers. They are quite um, delicate to peel these ones. You can't just pull them, rip them off the sheet because, yeah, they're cut in a way that they're quite delicate. So if you see me doing it quite slowly, I'm just trying to be careful. Moving on to the pink page in the other side of the brown pocket, I'm going to add some more gardeny related things, including that feather, kind of things found in the garden. Printed off some pictures from my sprocket of a couple of pictures I took of some really pretty flowers growing in the garden. Ones that, actually one of them we planted, but the other one we didn't plant, the, the previous owner had planted. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten the name of them. I'm going to have to look it up. Clematis. Clematis? Clemate, Clematis sounds better. That sounds right. Anyway, the previous owner had uh, sort of planted them and she put up... Uh, solar powered fairy lights and the clematis kind of grow around them and it just looks gorgeous they're finished now unfortunately like they were very much sort of an april may flower and they're gone now but they looked so 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 pretty and then the other flower is tall and purple i can't remember what it is it kind of looks like lavender but it's definitely not lavender i know that it's is it a salvia maybe i'm so bad at remembering flower names anyway i wanted to include them they're pretty that pretty pink paper is from again i bought the from garden party maggie holmes i got the paper pad in that hey little magpie sale and of course bringing in my handmade paper again i keep saying it I'm definitely obsessed with it and another bit of that lovely creamy textured what i think is wallpaper I'm using Victorian velvet around the edges of pretty much everything on these pages, I think. It was just that lovely, subtle, but also vintagey pink, kind of a shabby, chic-ish vibe to these pages. So I've backed my photos on some wood grain paper, which I thought went really nicely with the photos, because it's like a white fence, a white panel, or wood panel. So yeah, using that wood grain paper for the backing of the photos, just it worked really, really nicely. I brought in some of my own stickers uh, the hydrangea sticker is from flower garden and the lady sticker is from edwardian elegance i wanted to add more layers behind the photos i felt that more was needed i pulled out that thing with the music notes that's just from you know my little box of paper and stickery bits really roughed that up around the edges and scrambled it up in my hand and then flattened it out again so that really adds to the sort of messy shabby chic look i love the brown and pink just looking at it now again it just it's such a pretty pretty mix um what else am I going to do I think I'm just blanking for a second oh I think my camera is about to cut out for a second and skip over a bit it's just me gluing down those papers that I'd already kind of decided where they were going anyway and sticking the feather down with glue dots and the photo and the stick and the lady sticker 
I'm having camera trouble at the moment. The camera I used to use is dead. I'm having to use the one I used before that and I have to keep it plugged in all the time. And it's very, keeps changing its mind as to how much footage I can film at one time. And it's just oh, slightly stressful, but I'm okay. It's part of the reason why it's been two weeks since the last video. But anyway, adding some cute little clear stickers just from my stash that are kind of pink and floral or maybe a little bit of purple. They match the whole general theme, sticking those here and there. And then I wanted to do a wax melt stamp on top of the feather. It doesn't actually need it to stick it down. As I said, I stuck it down with glue dots, but I thought it looked cute. I think I used four little wax beads for that because obviously like the, the middle part of the feather, I can't think of the word, I'm having major brain fog today, um, is quite thick. So I needed a lot of wax to go over it. And I sort of had to move the stamp from side to side to make the stamp really impress onto the wax but it worked and then I used a pink metallic marker pen to really highlight the pattern of the wax seal and then what am I doing I'm adding some journaling here in a lovely sort of grey colour I was going to do pink journaling and then I thought actually that's going to be a little bit too much let's let's calm down a little bit grey so I think the grey works a bit nicer Adding another sticker from my wildflower collection there. And then on the left there, where the postcard I'd put on the other side was sticking out from under the pocket, I didn't like the way that was looking, so I just tore this washi a little bit, which is a lovely pink floral washi to go with the whole theme. And then I decided it was time for some little word and phrase stickers. So these are Tim Holtz. Is it Small Talk? I never remember the right names for them. I think it's the Small Talk stickers. Uh, going around the edge, well not even going around the edges, just kind of covering them with the Distress Oxide so they match everything. And then I always, always add extra adhesive to these stickers because cardstock stickers, do not trust them to stay stuck, ever. Uh, this is the Mambi sticker book, the like pressed florals one. It was half price in that Hey Little Magpie sale and I've really wanted it for a long time. So I snapped it up and added, I think just one sticker from that. And then that's a Maggie Holmes sticker book I've had for a while, which I added a little phrase from and then decided just in that little space right there needed a little something. So I added a heart and then I'm going to stamp the day over that heart. And I think that's going to be it. For these pages yes it is so I, I think this one is my favorite i love the way it turned out the shabby chic brown pink love it but of course i love my other pages as well the wildflower one i really like i'm really proud of this collection i love the way it looks like the overall aesthetic of it especially the postcards and the journal cards that i made i haven't actually got any of the journal cards for myself i've just realized that i have a whole set of postcards because they were misprinted but i didn't misprint any journal cards so i don't have any for me oops Anyway, moving on to my onion skin journal, I'm going to do a page in here, and yeah, I'm going to do a page again with the handmade paper. I'm sorry, I just, I can't stop using it. I cannot help myself, but the journal spread itself is about the process of how I make the paper, so obviously I need to include it in the journal spread. And I'm also going to include one of my wildflower postcards, because I really like them. I was just going through them here to choose which one I thought would go best. I actually took a long time to decide, but I think I eventually settled on the Blackberry, the Bramble one. I thought the white worked the nicest with the overall look of the page. I was not going to have anything patterned in the background, but then I decided that I, I didn't like the look of that. So really super wide washi here that I've torn. Uh, I think I tore it into three, stuck it down either side, and then I was looking at all the different scraps I had of the handmade paper, trying to decide which one to use. And I decided in the end, actually, I was going to use my biggest scrap that I had, because not only you know the whole journal spread was about how I make it so I might as well use the biggest scrap but it was one of the nicest pieces as well I thought with the petals and things in it so I was like you know what I'll use the whole bit but I didn't like the way that the bikes on the washi tape it kind of really made those a focal point just the way it worked out so I used that third part of the torn up washi to cover up the bikes part of the washi and then uh, on the spaces where the paper isn't going to be seen, I added some beautiful transfer stickers. Love using transfer stickers, particularly in my onion skin journal. It's something about the way that they transfer onto the paper is they just look really, really gorgeous. So I've gone with brown and cream sort of aesthetic ones on this. I think they go with the whole general look of everything. And then I do have to be a little bit careful when gluing this paper. Some of the pieces are a little bit delicate, especially these 
you know, scrappy bits that were from my first round, which wasn't as successful as my second round and third round and fourth. Um, you know, I really like it. Anyway, wanted to do a little bit of collage and stuff over top of the paper. So going through my little box of bits and scraps and stickers and bits and pieces that are often put in my journaling kits in my shop. Speaking of which, creative journal kits in my shop will now include an A5 sheet of my handmade paper. There we go. I think I've done enough advertising for today. But again, simple collage with little scraps of paper and little pieces of vellum and beautiful stickers and stuff like that. I think I went back and added another one of the transfer stickers on top of the collage just to make it all tie in together and not just look like it's plonked on top of each other. You know, there's an overall theme and not just unrelated layers. At least that's what I was going for. I think with the collage done, I'm gonna work on my postcard, which I'm gonna use as a tip in. I will distress the edges, edges blah, blah, blah. <sighs> try again. I will distress the edges of it with my distress tool. I just, I really like the way that looks when you have that really sort of rough edge. Oh, I rounded the corners as well to give it that softer look. I feel like rounded corners are coming back in. Like in 2015-16, rounded corners were all the rage and then they went out of fashion and now they're coming back again. It's funny how craft has its own like little fashion phases and stuff. Do you notice things like that or is it just me reading into things that are not there? I don't know. Anyways, look, another collage, shocking, and with another piece of handmade paper and those other three scraps I put on top of it were all leftovers from the other pages I'd done um in my junk journal so it's kind of nice to clear your desk like to have a project where you clear your desk of all the bits and pieces that you were making that came from other projects but as you saw I added my journaling onto there plus a little sticker and a cute little word I think it says begin and then I'm going to tip that in now I am using I really like the MT washi that's a single solid color but putting the washi on top of the washi it wasn't sticking down, so I stapled it in place. And then on the other side, I'm going to stick it down with clear sellotape and then put the washi on top of that. It's not very well stuck down. It will probably peel eventually and I'll have to go in and fix it. But for now, it's fine. And then I had some scraps of that washi and just, I was like, I need to put it somewhere. I'll just tuck it under there. There we go. Job done. And there we go. That is that page finished. So yes, I am finished with my video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Products used or mentioned will be in the description box below where available. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. And yep, that's it. Please leave me a thumbs up on this video. Chat to me in the comments. It really, really helps my channel, helps me out. And yep, I think that's gonna be it from me. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.